And Yolanda Renee King is the only grandchild of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And it's clear that excellence runs in the family. She's just 15 years old and is already an accomplished speaker and now an author. Her new children's book, We Dream a World, carrying the light for my grandparents, Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, is inspiring families to bring Dr. King's words to life. And Yolanda Renee King joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, as a young girl, what was communicated to you about your grandfather? Well, from a very young age, my family made sure to tell me and, and remind me of the significance of my grandparents and their work. And even when we were walking around, there would be people who would stop us and, and just say thank you. And I, I guess I always was aware that I had a unique situation. But it wasn't until I was nine that I think I, I had a feeling where I, where I understood the significance. And it was like a feeling like happiness, stress, any, any other feeling. And sometimes, like other feelings, that feeling comes and goes. And as I get older, I feel like it gets, it gets more and more, um, it gets more and more stronger. And I really understand that, like, my grandparents are, are pretty awesome. And, <laughs> and it's not someone telling me that. It's almost, yeah. when, it's almost like when someone tells you a quote, and you finally, you understand that. Wow. Yolanda, you seem a lot older than your years and very mature. I'm wondering if, in addition to the great things about this being your legacy, is there a lot of pressure growing up in the shadow of a grandfather and grandmother that are so famous? Well, I, I think that, interesting, there's more pressure from the outside world than my inside world and, and more pressure from the outside world than my inner circle because, I mean, my parents never forced me to do any of this. I was never um, told that I had to do any of this. And, and in fact, they had sit down saying, look, Yolanda, you don't have to do this. And, and if you decide to do this, and, and now the conversation is more, if you decide to do this, you don't have to be them. You don't have to do it the way they did. You don't, you don't have to be your grandparents. And mm. so yeah. that kind of gave a, that gave a layer of, of relief to me. I think that there definitely still is a, a big burden and a big legacy and it can be a lot because their, their legacy and what they left behind, it was so big. It was so, sure. so vast that, I mean, yeah. that's. So, so how do you fit that? It. How do you fit that in a children's book and how to communicate that in a way that, that they get it? Well, the children's book, I mean, it pays homage to uh, the legacy of my grandparents, but also it, it kind of, it, it's, it, I guess it's not just about only me and, and the relationship of my grandparents. It talks about our world. It, it shows it, it's something, I guess, just outside of me and, and, and the past. It, it starts with the past because I think we must start with the beginning to, to pay homage and, and to acknowledge the sacrifice that so many people made for me to be sitting down and talking to you all. But, um, but also it, it kind of go, it goes to the present, but it talks about the type of world we can have. It talks about a different present than our current present. And it talks about the type of world and the potential of our world. Well, it's pretty amazing to have written a book already at 15. And I know you do lots of other things too. What do you do for, what do you do for fun to relax? I mean, it's just like, I guess, what everyone else does. Um, just um, watching TV, reading, music, um, all of the passions that anyone else would have, I guess. And what and do you want to be when out you... with friends. What do you want to do, be when you grow up? <laughs> that goes... Um, that's still... I mean, I don't yet have a, um, a full, I guess, description of what I want to be when I grow up, but I definitely want to do something that is creative but has an impact. I think that creativity is the thing that solves solutions. I mean, think about chairs, for instance. If, um, if someone wasn't creative enough to make a chair, then we would still be sitting on the ground or just standing up all the time. Yeah. So, <laughs> Think about news anchors. So I, Where I, would I, we be? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be standing up there on the That's ground. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on your success. You're, you're, it's so nice to talk to you, Yolanda. And uh, the name of the book is We Dream a World, Carrying the Light from My Grandparents, Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott, Thank, Coretta Scott King. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.